Hello, I'm Richard Hunter, Head of Markets, and welcome to our look ahead for the week commencing the 19th of October. All things considered, it's been a fairly positive week. That's set against some mixed earnings from the banks in the US as the reporting third quarter reporting season kicks off in earnest. Also, fading hopes of a fiscal stimulus uh, ahead of the presidential election have weighed slightly on markets and, of course, renewed lockdowns in certain parts of Europe and, indeed, in the UK in particular. Even so, uh, the markets generally have made some progress apart from the UK. Um, the Dow Jones currently is almost flat in the year to date. It's down 0.1%. S&P 500 up 8%. The Nasdaq continues its march on. It's up about 31% in the year to date. And with everything over, overhanging the UK uh, at the moment, including the no negotiations with the EU, the FTSE 100 is currently down 22%. So turning to next week, again in the States, um, we're going to expect a few interesting company announcements to be coming through, the likes of Netflix, Tesla and American Express, for example. And in the UK, Barclays at the end of next week will kick off um, the UK banking reporting season. We may have had some clues uh, already from the US banks, which have reported a uh, fairly mixed bag, with the exception of the likes of um, Goldman Sachs and indeed Morgan Stanley, but it doesn't generally bode well, particularly for a potential uh, further increase in bad debt provisions. For Barclays, there may be some solace if the investment banking unit has been able to benefit from market volatility. Nonetheless, some good news in the banking sector in the UK is long overdue. Barclays shares are down around 45% in the year to date. A couple of similar type companies also reporting next week, both pandemic related. The first one is Reckitt Benkiser, which has its half year numbers. Uh, some of its more famous brands include Detto, Clearasil, Calgon and Harpic obviously has been a beneficiary of the pandemic and uh, the fact that people were for a big part of the last six months basically stuck at home. Shares are up about 18% year to date and up about 40% since their March low. Similarly Unilever also with its own um, stable of famous brands including the likes of Cornetto, Domestus, Magnum and Marmite has seen its shares up 11% in the year to date and again up 29% since the March low. So it'll be interesting to see with the lockdowns being eased uh, and then more restrictions being placed just how those trades are faring and holding up during the current round. Thank you for watching. Have a great week.